Hello boys and girls. My name is Hannah Nixon and I've been invited to read a Bible story to you today. This Bible story comes from the very first book in the Bible called Genesis and it's about a man named Abram and his wife named Sari. The story of Abram and Sari. Once there was a man named Abram. One day the Lord came to talk to Abram and Abram asked, who will have all my things when I die? God promised Abram and his wife Sari that one day they would be parents even though they were old and had no children. God wasn't sure that Abram understood. So that night, he took him outside and said, Do you see all of those stars up in the sky? When Abram looked up, the whole night sky was full of stars. So many, in fact, that he could never count them. Then God said, that is how many children you will have. Quite a few years later, when Abram was 99 years old, older even than your grandparents, the Lord decided to change Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many. He also changed Sari's name to Sarah. God told him again that they would be parents and that they would have a boy. This time, Abram laughed so hard he fell on his face. It was hard to believe that he and Sarah would have a child at their old age. One day, three visitors came to Abram's house. He hurried to greet them. May I get you something to eat and drink, he said. Please come in and join us and have a rest on our couch. The visitors agreed, so Abram brought them all some fresh milk, bread, and hamburgers. While the visitors were eating, they asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? Abraham thought this was a little strange, but he replied, she's in the other room. Then one of the men spoke and said, I will come back to see you at this very same time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Now Sarah was listening behind the living room door. She started to laugh, but covered her mouth and laughed to herself because she didn't want to be heard. Then she said to herself, how can I have a child? I am almost 100 years old. Later, when the visitors had left, Abraham and Sarah realized that the man who had told them this was indeed God. A year later, sure enough, Sarah did have a son. She and Abraham named him Isaac, which means he laughs. They were very excited and remembered to thank God for Isaac.